Hi, Anthony Dino, Global Field CTO for Unstructured Data Solutions at Dell Technologies here at Dell Technology World, joined by Anthony Limbo, Senior Director of the Americas for System Engineering with a crazy company called Weka. Anthony, right. what tell us, what is this thing, Weka? Yeah, yeah, so Weka. So we, so we create a data platform. We call ourselves a data platform. And you might ask, well, what is exactly a data platform? But here's kind of the really short version of it. If you think about the kinds of diverse workflows that we see in a complicated technical computing workflow, mm -hmm. you end up with this proliferation of different systems, different storage systems that make up the data layer. And we provide a way to simplify and consolidate those, those technical computing use cases that require a really high performance into one single data layer. So when we say data platform, that's really what we're, what we're building. We're building a high performance data layer that can facilitate a number of different workflows and really help in this scientific, technical computing kind of use cases that we're seeing with mm. things like AI and ML today. I'm glad you mentioned AI, one of my favorite topics. And certainly with uh, NVIDIA's uh, GPU technology, things are getting a lot faster. We're seeing a lot more yeah. interesting use cases. So yeah. tell us, Anthony, what is uh, what have you seen around AI use cases? Yeah, well, so I mean, the, the number one thing is, and this is connected to, if you look at one of, if you look at technical computing, we see GPUs show up and uh, NVIDIA is a major player in that, obviously. So when, and, and this, is a, this is exacerbated this sprawl that we see. Because if you take a server and with GPUs, they're really hungry for data. They need to be fed faster than, than we're used to. And you know, when we think about a, a traditional technical computing uh, infrastructure. So uh, with GPUs needing to be fed much faster with data, that's really what we've been focused on, is how do we provide that that level of speed when we think about this kind of next level of performance that's needed because of GPUs showing up in the technical computing environment. Got it. But is there a particular kind of uh, use case uh, like fraud detection or anything like that that's really kind of driving this demand? Yeah, well, if you, if you look at, we say AI and ML and deep learning, it's really, a, it's really a horizontal, right? It stretches across so many different industries and it's okay. becoming so pervasive. Uh, so if you think about uh, the ones where deep learning specifically is really gaining foothold, image, image processing, image recognition, uh, autonomous draw, any autonomous, right? Autonomous vehicles. These are some of the workflows that we see that really have this, this extreme demand from, uh, from a data perspective of powered by GPUs. Got it. And so uh, cameras seem to be yes. one of the key narratives, the key themes here driving up increased performance, and that's what you're trying to, to do with the, the WECA technology. Right. I'm really interested to know, because you're a deep thinker on deep learning, what do you see gonna happen in the next five years? Yeah, I, you know, that it's going, I think, I think uh, next five years is going to be very, very interesting. So I, if you look at the trajectory over the last two years, mm. if, if you roll this out five, mm. I think that all of us are going to be surprised in five years around the, the scale of data and the and the rates that these systems are going to need to be fed. So, uh, I, really simply, I think we're looking at a, an exponential increase in what we're going to see right on the edge of this horizon. So, five years from now, I think both of us would be pretty surprised that we're talking about exabyte scale single systems uh, that really have these requirements where. You know, today we probably couldn't even anticipate those. Yeah, and no, it reminds me of, uh, you know, call it 15, call it 20 years ago. Would you imagine to talk to a box and it, you know, and it, and you order products through it and it shows up the next day and that's, and now it's just commonplace. So there's right. going to be all kinds of things that I think are going to be pretty standard that we can't anticipate. Anthony, it's always a pleasure to be with you. Thanks for the time and. I hope our audience really enjoyed hearing some of the great stuff you have to share. Absolutely. Thanks so much, Anthony, and thanks to Dell and NVIDIA.